Do you remember the mystery box video? Let's find out what's in it today. So I already walked a little bit through the building and then I saw this long hole. Check this. It's filled up with white sand and little hills. Does anyone know what this is? If you know, please let me know in the comments. I'm uh, pretty interested. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chuck. Today I'll be painting with the cans that are inside this box. For now, I don't have any idea which brand will be in here. I asked a friend to buy some cans for me. First, I'm gonna sketch the piece with a cheap can and then I'm gonna open this box. Just so that I don't waste the quality paint or at least I hope there will be quality paint in here. And behind me, you see the spots that I'm gonna paint today. When talking about walls, raw concrete is my favorite surface to paint. There's only one downside. Uh, raw concrete can be uh, kind of sucky. But so was your girlfriend last night, so uh, I'm used to it. But in all seriousness, concrete wall can uh, absorb the paint a bit more, so the colors won't always be as vibrant as you might expect from a wall like this. All right, here we go. So this is the sketch. It's gonna be A, B, C, D, E. And this is the cheap spray paint where I was talking about. No idea how this is gonna hold on the wall, but yeah, we'll see. Wait, what? Is this yellow? No idea how old this can is. All right, this can is not gonna work. Lucky enough, I brought some more paint. So I'm probably gonna use that for the sketch. I'm afraid that it's gonna be pretty hard to see the sketch after this, but just don't wanna waste any good paint or at least not too much good paint on the, on the sketch. So I'm kinda in the middle of nowhere, so if something happens, then uh, I hope everything will be okay. All right, that's it for the sketch, but I do have the feeling that I got a couple of really big gaps between the letters, so between the D and the E. This also feels a little bit like an open gap. I don't want to add too much add-ons like this, but well, maybe I can do something with the background and it still looks good. Anyway, it's time to unbox the mystery box. And we have black, white, and a couple of bright colors. We got some flame orange. It's been a long time since I've painted with these cans. I don't think I e even ever painted a proper piece with this paint. And I have a couple of nice colors. These and some black and white. So now I have to think about what's gonna be the fill-in and the background. Mental light, kiwi light, violet, beige brown, and a black and white. A couple of fat caps. Oh yeah, and normally they come like this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put these two in the fill-in. Gonna go for a black outline. Maybe some things in the fill-in with this one the violet background and I'm gonna do a white line around the violet background as well use it as the highlight. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is the middle, I guess. And it's definitely high output. All 
right, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna grab another cap. Otherwise, I'm afraid I don't have enough paint for the entire fill-in because it's definitely a high output can. I still wanna go for a quick fill-in, but I'm gonna use the standard Montana black caps as they are a little bit softer than the pink fat cap. And I can also tell you this, I think this spray paint has a really unpleasant smell to it. Kiwi light. Let's see how this one is performing. I think this Kiwi light is covering better than the mental light, but down here, it can also be that there's a little bit more dust on the wall or something, and that makes it that the paint covers not as good as the other paint. So far, so good. There's not a lot of paint left in this can, so I have to be careful. So as this box came only with the standard caps, I'm gonna use a Montana level one cap for the white line I want to do around the background. So I tested this white directly on the concrete and uh, it's covering pretty well. I've seen a lot worse, so uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good white. All right, so three out of the six cans are almost empty. So it's good that I didn't use the good quality paint to do the sketch as well. I'm uh, gonna start off with the outline. I'm gonna use a level one cap for that so that I can make cleaner lines.
Right, so I'm done outlining the piece. Now it's time for the shadow. I'm gonna do a little shadow to the right side. Yeah, I always find it nicer to, uh, to always do the first lines and then focus on the shadow of the piece. It is so damn quiet in this building that it even freaks me out a little bit. Still, it's a lot of fun and it looks nice, but you never know what you're gonna where you're gonna run into when you're in buildings like this. All right, so I'm done painting. Before I show you the final result, I'm uh, gonna give you a small, quick recap on uh, the flame paint. It's uh, it's definitely a high output can. It comes also with a fat cap, so uh, yeah, you can blast these cans away in no time. They work with outline caps and skinny caps as well. I used the Montana Level 1 cap to do the outline and there was no overkill on the flame can. But overall, it's a good paint. I haven't used it that much. Um, the last time was a very long time ago. So for now, that's all I can tell about this spray paint. Anyway, this is the final result.